Okay, got it. Let's talk about your, uh, the stocks that you like in the region. You like Kins. Well, I, 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 we've been a shareholder in Kins for 14 years now. And um, we, we are attracted to companies both domestically and globally that are taking market share. And Kients started in Asia, Japan. They went to Asia. They then have built a, a very, very significant business in America over the last 10 years. There's further room for them to expand in, in Europe. Um, the model, as you know, is fabulous. So it's very, very profitable. That's why they have profit margins of over 55%. For us, one of the key characteristics is the free cash flow. And unusually in Japan right now, Kientz is one of those companies that has a very low dividend yield, about 0.4%. But if you look at the market cap of Kientz, which is about $100 billion, about 15% of that is cash. If they use the annual free cash flow simply for the dividend, the dividend will go from 0.4% to 2.5%. That it. So that shows you what's easily possible. And so we like the fact that they're you know, at, the, at the forefront of robotics, automation with their sensors, but also from a shelled return perspective, there's considerable scope for the company to improve their dividend yields. And if they did that, I think the stock would, would, would react quite positively. Okay, to your next idea, which is NGK Spark Plugs. Yeah. Well, NGK Spark Plug is not at the forefront of the technology change in the car industry clearly you know people are looking for a transition to electric vehicles away from internal combustion engines but the reality is there's a lot of value in this legacy spark plug technology educate spark plug have almost 60 percent of the world market one or two of their main competitors are pulling out so over the next few years we assume that their market share could get arguably as high as 70 percent there's no real fresh investment required in terms of capital expenditure. In the very short term, there is a risk that the aftermarket, which is more profitable for them than the OEM business, may suffer. I mean, the data in America recently has been a little bit soft. Sure. But the reality is that this company has got tremendous economy of scale. And we think sure. that over the next, to put it in perspective, over the next 10 years, they'll earn in profits four times their current market cap. The shares are very yeah. cheap. They trade on a single-digit multiple with a 5% dividend. 